for the perfect will of God according to the word of God. What is the word says about your situation? What is the word says about your circumstances? Amen. So we pray according to the word of God. In his name, we're going to use the name of Jesus in every prayer request, in every petition. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can use the name of Jesus in our praises, in our worship. Hallelujah. Because that glorifies the Father. When we worship him, when we adore him, when we exalt the name of Jesus, when we extol the name of Jesus, he is pleased. He put a smile in his face. Amen. Hallelujah. And that glorifies him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I remember one time uh, we were attending the worship. It's not here in, in, our, in our country. We were attending our worship, praise and worship. And then there was one lady who was possessed by the demons and she was there standing because she was making noise in front the the, the pastor put them at the back <laughs> but every time the worship starts or they change the songs that lady over there was trembling because there's power in our worship when we worship him in spirit and in truth demons cannot stay in the house that's why when you see people leaving the place earlier <laughs> you know, there's something. Amen. But that one lady w was there, standing there. So every time we start worshiping the Father, that, that person was like, she couldn't stand, she couldn't, she couldn't stay, you know, standing. Amen. Hallelujah. So what they did, they put them again in front. So whenever we start singing, that lady always fell on the floor. Amen. There's power in our praise and worship. So you come here, your heart should be ready in worshiping. Amen? Hallelujah. Because there is something that is going on in the spiritual realm. Amen? Hallelujah. When, when the corporate praise and worship, amen, when we are in unity, praising him, worshiping him, the presence of, the, the presence of God comes down. Amen? That's why you see people being touched during the praise and worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even you don't need to wait for the service, for the word of God. But even in the earliest, you know, in the, in the praise and worship, you already receive from the Lord. Amen. Because there's power in our worship. Hallelujah. And if you don't know how to worship, then start now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's not that we are like this. No movement. No response. Amen. We respond to the Father. We glorify Him. We acknowledge Him. We give Him thanks. Hallelujah for everything that God has done for you. The thing is that even the smallest thing that the Lord has given you, you need to acknowledge and you need to be thankful. Amen. Hallelujah. And that glorifies the Father. Amen. Hallelujah. The food that you eat every day. Lord, I thank you for the food. I thank you, Lord, for three meals a day. <laughs> I thank you, Lord, that I have the air to breathe. Amen. Hallelujah. I have the car. I have a new dress. Every, everything. The smallest thing. But we acknowledge who God is in your life, in our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know, that, that name, the name of Jesus belongs to you. It belongs to me. Just take it freely given to you. And when you know that it carries everything, it carries peace, it carries joy, it carries anointing, provision, the blessing, anything that you want is there in the name. Take it, it's yours. And use it as much as you can. Amen? Even while you're driving, use it. Even when you're there in the lobby, Amen? Hallelujah. When you're alone, use it. Say the name of Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Speak in tongues. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you don't know what's going on. Something will going to change the situation. I was here. I woke up 4 a.m. in the morning. And I don't know why I woke up in the morning. And I started praying until 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. 
then I remember my, my nephew in the Philippines, and I called him. Suddenly, it just came into my spirit to call him. And then suddenly, he was in trouble. So like a crowd trying to kill him. And because somebody is praying from Finland during that time, because the time uh, difference is like six hours. And he was saved from trouble. Because if, if you go to another place with the people that you don't know, you know, you may be killed if you do something bad to one person over there. So there are families who will help that person. Amen? But he was saved. So it's good to pray. Pray in tongues and speak the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is no distance in the spiritual realm. Even when you're praying here and you're praying for people that is not in Finland, God is working. His hand is not too short not to touch these people. Amen? Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. And, and you know what? The Bible said that we can pray to the Father in his name as, as my representative, in my name as his rep representative. I don't know if you, are, if you know about the, uh, the power of attorney, the SPA. Do you, have, do you have that in Finland? Special power of attorney. No. Okay, I, I, will, I will tell a story. Okay. That we can use the name of Jesus in praying to the Father. The Bible said that you can ask anything to the Father in my name as my representative. He will do it for you. Amen. Okay, this is power, special power of attorney. Yes, you have, you, you, it's like a document that you're allowing the person to sign on your behalf. To go to the bank, withdraw the money that is your money, you know. May I call maybe? Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm giving her a special power of attorney. So I make a letter, a document, that's SPA, special power of attorney, and I'm allowing her, you know, to withdraw my money deposit anything from my money and make a, a negotiation with other people, you know, about money matters. Amen. So anything, you know, any transaction that he's just doing with other people, I give her the power, I give her the authority to do it. Amen. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, you know, God will do it on our behalf as a power of attorney. Amen. Hallelujah. In our prayer. Hallelujah. 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 He will give it to us, that power of attorney. I remember I was, in, I was here during the time, that during the prayer and fasting. Then we, we've been selling our property in the Philippines Actually, we sold, we sold the property already. But because we are here, and the client was there in the Philippines, so we don't have a chance to go back to the Philippines to sign all the documents and the contract because we want to sell the property because that was one of the requirements that we need to submit to the immigration. And so we need one person in the Philippines that can sign all the documents that we are supposed to sign. And so we allow one of our pastors in the Philippines to do everything that he can draw money from us, from our bank account. You know, it's really hard to trust people that, you know, but we trust the pastor. So <laughs> we give them the special power of attorney. So everything that he is doing there in the Philippines, you know, we have the authority given to him that he can do anything. Amen. Hallelujah. That he can sell the property without us there. Amen. That's the power of the uh, special power of a Tony. The same thing with our Jesus, our, with Jesus. Amen. He has given us that, you know, that special power. 
Amen. Hallelujah. That we can transact by prayer. Hallelujah. He has given us the right, the power that we can do as anything to the Father in His name. Hallelujah. He will do it to us. Anything that you need. Amen. Because He's allowing you. You have all the rights. You have all the legal rights to do anything in the name of Jesus. You can ask whether it's small or big things to the Father. Hallelujah. Because He has given you already the power and the authority. Amen. He will do it for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He will back you up. <laughs> Amen. He will endorse you to the Father. Accept his prayer. Hallelujah. I sign it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the enemy cannot, you know, say, no, no, no. Stamp with the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 And the enemy cannot stop it. When the Holy Spirit signed it, sealed, stamped it, it is done. Amen. Amen. You have it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So the name of Jesus carries all the authority over all other names. Amen. In heaven. Amen. Before God and all the angels. So that's why you can command the angels. Because you have the authority to command the ministering angels to release everything for you. Release the finances and bring to my account in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You command the people that you, you've been praying for to bring that person to the church in Jesus' name. That is the job of the angels. You know, you have angels that you can let the angels become busy. Amen. Command them. Amen. Hallelujah. Command the angels to bring the harvest in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. 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 Every name that is above, every name. Hallelujah. And they shall bow down in Jesus' name. Even the kings and the presidents, they will bow down. Amen? The people around you, they will bow down in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Even the devils, the demons, whatever the name, they will bow down and they will obey. They are subject to you. Amen? Why? Because the power and the authority and the dominion has been given to you. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell to the person next to you, you have power. Dominion, authority. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why many people, they fail. Because they don't know that they have authority. That they have power. That they have dominion. That's why Jesus died for us. Amen. So that that dominion will be restored back to us. Amen. And we rejoice and we are glad. Amen. Because now we can exercise the power and that authority that God has given us. It's not only for the pastors, but for all believers. Amen. Hallelujah. So when something happens in your life, you don't be afraid. You don't be fearful. Amen. You don't be depressed. Because you know that you have given power and authority to fight the battle. You know, crying is not the solution. Even you cry the whole day for one month, it will not solve the issue. Amen? Hallelujah. But you have to act and exercise the power that God has given you. Amen? That's simple. Speak the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the enemy trembles when they hear the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So the prayer prayed in his name will receive his special attention. Amen. He knows the people that belongs to him. When we remind him of what the word says in our prayer, we put him in special attention. 
Yeah. Yeah, I said that. Yeah, I promised that. I release it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And one thing here in on John 14, verse 13. The one that uh, I read earlier. And I will do whatever you ask in my name. This I will do so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. The word ask there, uh, other meaning for that is demand. You can demand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Demand is like an urgent request. When you need it, I want it. I need it now. Then you can demand to the Father in His name, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. When you know that it is urgent for you that I need it this week, then you can demand the Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I have one, one uh, testimony on that, but I don't want you to, to do it also. Uh, we were working in the embassy before. Uh, we were in Ethiopia. And then uh, my boss was sent back to America because the local people made a bad story of him. And so I heard that news. So I talked to my boss that very uh, be careful well, maybe one of this time that they will, you will send home because somebody, you know, gave, gave a bad report about him and people are trying to kill him. And people are like waiting at the gate to try to hit or, you know, hurt him. So the, 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 the embassy planned to send him back on that very day, that night. So he sent to the other gate so that nobody can see Nobody can see, see him. And so this, this lady working in, in our office, uh, she was so mad at me because I, I talked to my, that, that, that's my boss. Of course, I need to protect my boss, you know. So she was so mad at me that every time we see each other in the office, she was like, <laughs> with the telephone, boom, 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 boom. You know, I said, no, it's, this is not good. It's not, it's not working, you know, properly. You know, it's not helping us. And so one, one day I said, Lord, I want this lady to be out. <laughs> I can demand, right? I can demand because it's not helping us. It's like a threat for us. So every time somebody's calling from the office, he's not bragging the phone and never give the phone to us or just hung the phone. So I said, Lord, send her to another place, not here in the office. So after a few days, I just heard that she was out of the office and so she was sent to another department. Amen. So we can demand from the Lord when it is urgent, when it is needed, then we can ask the Lord, Lord, I want this. I need this. Amen. Hallelujah. Because that is your, that is your authority. You have the authority and you have the dominion. And because the Father said you can ask, you can demand. Amen. Hallelujah. Acts 3. I have one, one story here. Acts 3, verse 1 to 9. Hallelujah. This is about the story of Peter healing the, the lame beggar. Acts chapter 3. Now Peter and John were going up to the temple at the hour of prayer, the ninth hour, and a man who had been unable to walk from birth was being carried along when they used to sit down every day at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, so that he could beg alms from the, those entering the temple. When, so when he saw Peter and John about to go in the temple, he began asking them for coins. But Peter, along with John, stared at him intently and said, Look at us. And the man began to pay attention to them, eagerly expecting to receive something from them. But Peter said, Silver and gold I do not have, but what I do have I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, begin now to walk and go and walk. Go and walking. Hallelujah. 
So he asked, he demanded, amen, the demand to get up and walk in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So whatever you demand, that is your rights and your privilege, amen, that I shall do it for you. Hallelujah. And because he knew that he had something, even though we, he doesn't have the gold and the silver, but what he had is the name of Jesus Hallelujah. So what he had, he declared, hallelujah, and he said, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, walk and go on walking. Amen. He never even think of, Lord, how if not, if he is not walking? Because he was lame from birth. So in the natural it is impossible when he said that word, because if he didn't know the word, the power of the name of Jesus, then he had some doubt in his mind that it is impossible for me to do it. Amen. Because he had in his heart, amen, and he was so confident that he carried the power, the name of Jesus, that when he started speaking the name of Jesus, something was going to change. Hallelujah. Everything that is not impossible to men is possible to God. That's why he gave his name, Jesus. Because there's power in the name of Jesus. Miracles upon miracles upon miracles in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yet you can raise the dead. Amen. Deaf hear, mute talk. Hallelujah. The jumping and leaping, those who are lame, <laughs> crippled. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. And they rejoice. Hallelujah. Because they believe. And because the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There's the name. There's a name that is above every name. That every knee shall bow. Every sickness has to bow down in the name of Jesus. And if you have it in your heart, in your spirit, and you believe it. And you are confident to use the name of Jesus. Something miraculous will take place. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 We're so blessed because God has given us the privilege. Amen. Not everybody has that privilege. Amen. Because we are the legitimate sons and daughters of the Almighty God. Hallelujah. That He has given you the right, the same as His. Hallelujah. The same authority. Amen. Hallelujah. Is it not a big privilege for you? But what are you doing with that privilege? Are you using that privilege? Amen. Hallelujah. That we don't waste our time without exercising what God has given us. Amen. That even in the small thing, even when you, when you, there's some, some, some problem in the house and you can use the name of Jesus. Even when your child is sick. In the morning we heard about the, the daughter, you know, speaking <laughs> Healing, the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That small child, they, she already knew how to use the name of Jesus. Then how can be like us, adult, we don't use the name of Jesus. We need faith to believe. Amen. And start using the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because there's power in the name of Jesus. If, you, if you've been believing for something miraculous, something big, hallelujah, that you have never, never experienced, hallelujah, and you wanted to have it this year or maybe this month in the beginning of the year, then always remember that God has given you the power to use his name. Why not using it as much as you can? Use the name of Jesus. Amen? And you will see the result. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Say this with me. I have power. I have authority. I have dominion. And it is my right to use it. I'm going to use it. From this time forward, in Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Thank you, Lord. And this, this, this accompany, these signs will accompany you that in his name, you will cast out demons. How many of you have already cast demons here? Raise your hand. So everybody is a believer, right? Okay. So everybody has the right and the authority to cast out demons. All who believe. It's not only for few people here, but it says here, all who believe. You can cast out demons. Amen. You can pick up serpents, and if they drink anything deadly, it will not hurt them. You can lay hands on the sick. How many of you have already laid hands on the sick, and they shall recover? Amen. Use Use the one that you have never done before. If you have never done before casting demons, try to do it. Amen? Hallelujah. You challenge yourself. Amen? Go to the home groups. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Do it. If you have your people in your you know, workplace that has something, you know, the manifestation, lay hands, cast demons in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> that is supernatural sign. We'll follow you who believes. Amen. Hallelujah. Because you believe those, those signs will follow you. Amen. And because you don't know that it will follow you, then use it now because you heard it. Amen. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And when you have faith and then you act and then you do it, you, you hear, you do it. Amen. Hallelujah. That's a simple instruction. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And because you carry that power and that guarantees that your prayers will be answered. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. There's one question here that, you know, why then uh, the devil, you know, using this depression, the oppression, you know, sickness and everything to many Christians and even churches? It is because that many don't know that uh, the power of the name of Jesus belongs to them. How many of you know that you have that power to use the name of Jesus, but you don't use it? <laughs> hallelujah 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 that's why many people are depressed and still depressed and continually depressed amen oppressed whatever press pressing them amen hallelujah because they don't know what belongs to them because if you know it then you have to use it and that depression will go in the name of Jesus that there is no depression in the house there's no depression in the church there's no fear and anxiety in the house because they always use the name of Jesus because they know what belongs to them the power of the name of Jesus is there working in them amen hallelujah hallelujah thank you there's one uh Uh, there is one testimony here from uh, Charles Spurgeon, the, the English Baptist preacher. So he was called to the home of the elderly woman who was bedfast. A malnutrition was about to take her physical life. So during his visit, Spurgeon noticed a framed document. There was a, a frame inside the house. You know, it is a document. Somebody gave it to, to her, her employer. You no, know, her employer gave her the document. Instead of reading what is in the document, she framed it and hung it there on the wall. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. And this lady died. And so this uh, this woman who was bedfast, she was taken to the hospital. And she was poor because she had no money. And her house was like in the smooth, small, small box, wooden, wooden box. But this uh, Spurgeon saw that frame, the document that was framed on the wall, 
and she was asking, who gave you this frame, uh, this uh, document, can I get it? And I'll check what is inside of that document. So the lady gave, her, gave him the permission to get the, the document so that he can show it to the authorities. And then Spurgeon took it to the authorities, and then they were, have been looking for it. And the English noblewoman had left her maid a home and a money. You know, before that lady, the, the employer of that old lady, before she died, she gave that document with money and house for her to live. And because she didn't know it, she just hung it on the wall and displayed there. And she missed the privilege, the rights that is for her for a long, long time, that she can use the money for her living and stay with a good place, a nice house. But because she's not aware, she didn't read the document, then she missed the blessing. Amen? Because we are not aware of the power of the name of Jesus for so long. Amen? Then we miss what is supposed to, to have it, to have, you know, to, you have it. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you don't use and you don't know how to use the name of Jesus. Amen. Then you miss a lot of opportunities that you should enjoy now, that you should possess now. And because you don't know how to use the name of Jesus and you don't know how to speak the name of Jesus in your situation, then until now you still have that issue. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, if you have a car and you don't use your key, you cannot use the car. You cannot open the door and the windows. And you cannot go to the place where you want to go because you don't know how to use your key. So the name of Jesus is the key Amen. to get yes. anything yes. that you ask the yes. Father yes. by using his name. Yes. Amen. And it says there, he will give it to you. Amen. He will do it for you. Amen. But only key there is the name of Jesus. To use the name of Jesus. There is no other key but to use the name of Jesus. When you know how to use the name of Jesus, that you have the direct access to the Father, always using the name of Jesus, 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 Jesus. And he will do it for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Tonight, because you hear the word, faith hears, faith believes, faith acts. Faith moves. Amen. So you hear the word of God. Hey, I have the revelation of how to get anything to the Father in the name of Jesus. I have the authority. I have, I have the right to use the name of Jesus. And I thank you, Lord. Today, I'm going to use my right as a child of God and use the name of Jesus in anything that I ask the Father in his name. He will do it for me. Amen? So it's tonight, if there is anything that you can ask the Father using the name of Jesus. The Bible says he will give it to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And God, you know, in, in John chapter, chapter 14, verse 12, that the Bible said that we can do even greater things than what God has done, what Jesus has done before. Amen? Because God has given us the power, that authority, that we can do even greater things. Hallelujah. 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 Things that you have never seen before in your life. Things that you have never done before in your life. God will use you to do even greater things. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you can use only the name of Jesus. If you have never, never done, you know, praying for the sick, then this is your moment 
tonight, if you see somebody there, <laughs> you can lay hands on the sea and they shall recover. Amen. When you see some manifestations there and you, you can cast out demons. Amen. Because the Bible says that you can do even greater things. Hallelujah. You can, you can, you shall. Hallelujah. 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 You can, you can. You can destroy the works of the devil in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Never, never the devil can touch you, but you can destroy any works of the devil in the name of Jesus. Jesus, because you have power and you have authority that God has given you. And you can do even greater things than what he has done before. Hallelujah. You can slap the enemy. Kick the enemy. Kick out the enemy from your house. In Jesus' name. Every stronghold has to bow down in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every addiction. Every spirit of fear, spirit of anxiety, hallelujah, it has to bow down right now in Jesus' mighty name. Any manipulating spirit must bow down in the name of Jesus. How any tormenting mind must bow down in the name of Jesus. I thank you for freedom right now in the mind, in the heart, hallelujah, in the physical. I thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Destroy every stronghold in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you that we can trample on the snakes and the scorpions, Lord. They couldn't even hurt us, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. I thank you, Lord, that these people are overcomers in Christ. Jesus. They're winners, victorious, Lord. Hallelujah. They can do all things through Christ who strengthens them, oh Lord. I thank you that you have given them the armor, Lord, that they can use to win the battle, oh Father God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word of the Spirit. Hallelujah. The sword of the Spirit. The helmet of salvation. The breastplate of righteousness. How the shield of faith. The belt of truth. The shoes for the preparation of the gospel of peace. It belongs to them. Yes. Hallelujah. And they are soldiers. Mighty soldiers of Christ. Hallelujah. They fight the battle and they're going to win. In Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Father we thank you. We thank you for tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's pray in the spirit. Hello, Borobo Shikaramande. Hendo Ramon de Ribu Shikaramande Lele. Shikarada de Do Reba Shekerede. Lendorobo Shikaralala. Mandorobo Shikaraba. Shokara de Shikarada de Shora de Rede. If you're struggling here, hallelujah, from any situation, Hallelujah. For many years, and you want freedom tonight. I call these people to come here. Hallelujah. Believing that in the power of the name of Jesus, you receive freedom tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. But there is power in the name. Hallelujah. The, the, the Bible says, where two or three gathered in the name of Jesus, he is here. He is strongly here. Hallelujah. He is able to do anything for you to receive your healing, to receive everything that you're asking for to the Father in the name of Jesus, you're going to have it tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's power in Jesus' name. There's healing in Jesus' name. There's deliverance in Jesus' name. There is provision in Jesus' name. Hallelujah.